Hi guys and uh, welcome to my review of the Panon 10th anniversary. This is actually also a part two of the review which started out with the, the Soundrime DTE 500. So a lot of uh, what I've mentioned in that review will hold true to this one. Anyway, uh, let's get straight into this. This is the box. I do not have yet the 10th anniversary commemorative carrying case, which is this case here that you can see on the website. I will, should be receiving this, this sometime this week. Okay. Um, price for the for this uh, 10th anniversary is $499 so it w falls within the this uh, this um, this uh, new let's say competitive uh, bracket that we have now um, uh, created i mean a couple of years ago uh, most tribrids were way more expensive than this but anyway let me just quickly show you the box so open up the box inside here comes this carrying case which is the stock carrying case the normal stock, you know carrying case Pinon usually provides we get the OES 819 cable, which is a decent enough cable and does a decent enough job with the uh, with the 10th anniversary. Although I have swapped the cable out and uh, with a better cable, I did get better results. Uh, plenty tips, loads of tips. Okay, you got these darker, these these they're black with the green ball, white with the with the green ball, which I'm using, and uh, there's still some uh, transparent ones as well, I believe. But yeah, there we go. And there's some some transparent ones. There's a cleaning tool as well. So in terms of accessories, it's we're very well accessorized. No no issue there. Plenty of tips. The tips work well. I'm using the tips that uh, Pinon provides, which it happens quite often actually, mind you. Uh, so nothing to be said with regards to the, that, that aspect. Okay. Some information in the back with regards to to what is being used. There's a mistake here that mentions that it's a. Um, um uh, it's uh, a a estonian ba for the for the highs and it's not it's actually uh, a knolls it's uh, the, the way that this is uh, broken down is we have a two six millimeter uh, bio uh, diaphragm um, dynamic drivers which have been uh, which have been coated with a, a crystal film uh, and that crystal film uh, has kind of done away with uh, some of the negative aspects usually found on, on biofiber diaphragms uh, and conferred ultimately, <coughs> excuse me, the sort of performance that these two six millimeter drivers are, are, are giving us. And then we have um, a single Sonian uh, for, for the mids, a single uh, Knowles for the, for, the, for, the, for the treble, and then the two Sonian ESTs for the, for the, for the for the treble extension for the upper treble. Um, just quick mention here is the fact that it's, an, it's got a nine ohm uh, impedance, uh, which can be problematic. Uh, you know, if your if your source uh, does not handle very well the, this, these lower impedance uh, devices. But anyway, not really an issue that I encountered myself. So that's the box. That's the carrying case. That's out of the way. As for the IMs themselves, then, well, what what can I say? And, and, and uh, you know, before before I, I continue in more detail with what we ultimately want to know, which is uh, you know the, the sound and, and, and how the, this this uh, sounds. Um, Panon was was started out by Mr. Shi Kong Hui, um, and the 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 tenth anniversary is basically um, a a uh, statement uh, that uh, showcases how he uh, has established himself as a player, uh, as a significant player, uh, as a prominent figure in the, the, the chai fi world. Uh, he's a gentleman that definitely knows what he's doing. He, he, he from my interactions with him, uh, has shown himself to be a very uh, mellow person, very relaxed, uh, you know, very, very softly spoken, at least, like I said, with my interactions with him. Um, but he definitely knows what he's saying. He, he definitely knows what he's doing. He knows the market well. He knows, w and he knows what he wants and what he wants to give people. Uh, and what he has wanted to give people over, the, you know, the, the, these last ten years, is uh, high quality products. Uh, not only with the cables, which was how he started out, uh, and they still have some very high quality cables, which I use and I mentioned in part one of this review. I mean. The, the, the G4 here is a fantastic cable, the vocal over there as well, another, another fantastic cable. But not only has, did he want to give people a, uh, uh, you know, the customers a good quality cable alternative at a reasonably accessible price, but also then with the IEMs provide uh, people with a, a, a very particular sound. And, and be it Pinon IEMs or be it ISN, 
they all have a very particular um, Penon house sound. And what's that Penon house sound? Well, that Penon house sound is easy. It's, it's, it's the kind of sound that once you hear it, it's unmistakable and it's like riding the bicycle for the first time. And once you learn how to ride the bicycle, you'll never forget. It is a sound that has got unbelievable mids, you know, uh, some a little bit more recessed uh, as compared to, to others or, of the models uh, in, the, in the range. But it's always the mids which are the star of the show. Very, very relaxed pinna gains, very, very chilled out. Nothing is forward or aggressive or in your face. Very chilled out with always this very nice, uh, melodic, thick bass that's very well executed. So what, end, what you end up getting is uh, a sound that could be considered perhaps, um, uh, you know, uh, not audiophile, 100% correct, but it is well done uh, you know it's a sound that is correct it's a sound that's organic it's a sound that it's musical it's a sound that captivates you engages you and you want to listen to it more and more and more and, and the, the 10th anniversary is basically the the, the 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 culmination of all that he has learned over these years and um uh, i i probably would say that out of all the iems that i've heard from penon and and isn of, of isn i've heard every one of them uh, but of the uh, Penon IEMs that I've heard so far, um, it's probably the one that I, uh, I have to say that uh, ticks the, the more right boxes. Uh, the Serial, uh, as, as, as some of you that follow me will, might know, is one of my favorite IEMs. I absolutely just adore that organic, that old school kind of vibe, you know, kind of vinyl with valve amplifiers going and so on and so forth. It's an absolute fantastic I am to listen to uh, the fan uh, another I am which you know in, in its simplicity it's intoxicating uh, the fan too which serves as the basis to a certain extent yeah to the 10th anniversary um, very nice in its neutral way of doing and, and presenting itself uh, the globe uh, a one plus two again a fantastic great bass uh, maybe a little bit maybe a little bit uh, recessed for some in with regards to the mids and highs but overall an IEM that I absolutely adore and think it's fantastically fantastically well tuned not not to mention you know the, the whole bunch of uh, like I just said of the ISN IEMs which are all very engaging and very satisfying to listen to this uh, has taken all those lessons learned in those other IEMs and uh, you know given and, and brought us a, a, a new a new taste, a new flavor. Um, the main, I think the main, I, or one of the main motivators for for the 10th anniversary was the fact that some people, and I, I never had the chance to listen to the vault, although I'm working on trying to, to correct that situation and get my hands on the vault. Uh, people in the uh, that uh, listened to the vault complained that uh, maybe the vault was a little bit lacking in terms of the bass. As I said, I don't know. I, I never listened to it. What I can is compare this to, especially the serial and the globe, uh, in terms of the bass. Uh, and in terms of the bass, if the serial has got unbelievable bass, really good. If the serial uh, has a bass which is organic, which is uh, you know you know full of texture, full of life, full of of engagement that really gets you going um, and on the same token the, the globe this has taken that and improved upon it that little extra and improved upon it how well it is quite impressive to see how two six millimeter drivers uh, can extract and give us so much performance uh, that is the truth um, a definite testament to the quality of the driver itself so the drivers used are of high quality uh, and also a testament then to how the tuning was done. Um, in no circumstance did I ever encounter or did I ever find a song that I usually listen to, did I ever find a song that the, 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 the 10th anniversary wasn't able to reproduce and give that full body, that, 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 um, that rich balance that I like on the bass that I don't find in the, you know, that I, sorry, that I find in the, in, the, in, in the serial or that I find in the globe. The, the 10th anniversary is capable in every aspect to keep up and exceed even the serial. Uh, in, in, it exceeds quite, uh, quite, uh, quite easily, let's put it that way, quite easily, the globe in that it has an extra amount of speed because of the drivers being smaller that it just makes the bass a little bit more snappier while still maintaining that uh, that that 
thickness of the sound, let's put it that way. Uh, on the serial, uh, because we have three drivers uh, and you can better divide how you want things to be done, you get that quickness, but this is able to take that a step further. Uh, you know, it, it is, it is actually, it's actually, as I said, it's actually quite uh, impressive to see how deep it can reach, how, how much rumble uh, these two six millimeters are, are capable of, of, of producing and, and they easily, easily mimic a much larger driver. Uh, you know, it, it's really impressive. Um, when it comes to the, the, the mids, the, the, the single, uh, the, 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 the single Sonian being used here, uh, again, is a, an absolute, uh, um, it, it kind of leaves me in awe how, how well they've been able to, to tune that, that BA. Um, and, and that is actually something which, you know, again, is, is common not only to other uh, uh, other ISN and Panon products in terms of the mids and how well they are always so executed. But what impresses you there the most is it has basically got the same kind of quality mids that I find in the DTE 500, also just using a single BA uh, because that's what happens here in the DTE 500 as well. Uh, and and again, it's 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 just you know. The, the the female and the male vocals are five stars. They they just absolutely well done. There's the female vocals sound the way they should sound, and and and, and you know if if I have to if, if you guys want to have uh, examples of what I'm talking about, I can give you examples. No problem. Um, let's take for example here. Uh, let's take for example here. Da, 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 let me see a female vocal uh, 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 that you guys will be familiar with. Well, look, even if you're not familiar with uh, uh, um, Sevdaliza from Joanna from Sevdaliza, you have to listen to it on here because it's it's magic in any one of these three. Okay, it's magic in any one of these three. But focusing here on the tenth anniversary, her voice is just absolutely unreal um blackbird from lady blackbird as well absolutely amazing uh, again all these three do it well but here it, it you know the fact that you have that little extra bass to complete the heart the harmonics better it just it just is able to edge out the dt 500 just that little extra and you will I, I was left speechless honestly i really was left speechless i i really was not having I was, you know, like I said, when you've listened to so many good things, like I've been able to listen now lately, you, 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 you question how is it possible that something can come along and actually do it better or, yes, fair enough, I mean, we're not talking huge differences here, but just the fact that I am able to pick up on a difference uh, at this level of performance, I think, you know, is, is testament to the quality of what's been done here and the quality of what's been achieved. Um, I mean, even things like Royals from, from Jasmine Tom, Tom, Thompson, which is a, is, a, is a song that's more popular. Beautifully done. N nothing to be said about it. It just does it beautifully. A uh, Piece of Me from Candace Springs, another one. Female vocal, uh, and it's, it's absolutely, for lack of a better word, phenomenal. Okay? If the vocals on the DTE 500 were something, female vocals uh, especially, were something to be praised, this year does it that extra little bit better because of the bass that it now has, which the DT500 doesn't have, okay? And that in essence is, um, um, although I'm jumping the gun a little bit, that in essence is the biggest difference between these two. This has the bass that the DT500 was not tuned to have. And by having the bass that this was not tuned to have, it, for me and for my library, it complements things just that little extra better. There's nothing wrong with the DT500, there's nothing wrong with the MK2, but this just complements things in a nicer manner. And then when you take, um, when you take uh, male vocals as well, again, uh, what you're gonna do from Frank McComb, uh, absolutely unreal, absolutely unreal, very, very nicely done. Uh, and then if I'm just listening to, to purely, uh, you know, uh, instrumental stuff like Mexican Margarita from Jacob Gurevich, this is where you see that rich tonal character of the mids coming across. The guitar is phenomenal. I mean, I know I'm repeating the same word, but <laughs> honestly, I don't know what other word to use. The guitar is 
absolutely unreal. You, you truly have to listen to this song, uh, Mexican Margarita from Jacob Gurevich. Listen to it, listen to it. If you have it on your IM, listen to your IM. And if you do have a chance to listen to this, or if you have any of the IMs that I've mentioned either in this one, in this review or in the part one, listen to that song. It is unreal. Long Road from, from, from Steve Oliver. Again, the guitar, the way that you, you, you get that full body of, of, the, of the mids coming across and, 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 and the instruments sounding the way they should sound. I mean, tonal, you know, t t t timbre and tonality, you guys know there's something which I pay uh, great attention to. Uh, and be it these three or the other ones that I had in part one, uh, they all have good timbre and tonality. Yes, they do. But if there was one that stands out for me, is, it was the EST-50 from ISN. Another one that stands out for me in that aspect is the serial. Uh, this is that plus a little extra timbre and tonality of the, 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 the 10th anniversary is top marks. Nothing to be said there. Um, oh, another, another female vocal that I actually didn't mention and, and, and it's also I was, it was very nice to listen to because of, of the trumpets and, 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 and that accompany her voice is uh, Willow Whip for me from Jacinta. Fantastic, a fantastic, fantastic song. Um, in terms of other vocals, other male vocals uh, that uh, you know, this is this is able to to do properly. Oh, I was forgetting, I was forgetting. Um, uh, comfort, uh, comfort zone, the, the the live version from from Larry Colton. The bass line on this, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, definitely the tenth anniversary and the in the in the. Uh, and the, the Mega 5 EST Mark II are the ones that do that song the best out of these three. Definitely. Uh, unquestionable. Unquestionable. Um, but going back to the male vocals, uh, Holding On, you know, uh, from Gregory Porter. Fantastic. Actually, basically all songs from Gregory Porter uh, were an absolute pleasure to listen to here. Um, Jeff Cascaro, uh, The Lady Is Not Amused. Amazing. Amazing. This has got that tonal balance that gives Jeff he, that... that right tonality that but, uh, well at least for me that I think his voice sh should have um, so yeah basically you know in terms of the bass and the mids perfect what about the highs the highs are again on on the same level as the highs of the the DT 500 um, the execution here as well of the ESTs has in my opinion or is in my opinion absolutely uh, faultless I mean it's it's got it's 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 got enough twinklies and sparklies. It's clean. Uh, it's vivid. Um, a little bit more emphasized than what usually you find on Panon IEMs. Yes, I mean you do notice the difference between this and and the Globe, and the difference between this and uh, and and the, the serial definitely. Um, but it is very 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 well done. I mean truly well executed, on par with the, the, the execution of the ESTs yeah, he's on par with the DT500. So if, if I said that that was probably the best execution under $1,000, well, it's got another one here that does, that does the same thing and keeps, keeps up with it, the, 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 the 10th anniversary. Uh, the, the EST executions here of these two, actually of these three IEMs is very good, but these two just edge out slightly the, the MK2. The MK2, um, the high senior, uh, uh, it needs power to come alive. Um, and at the same volume level, I mean, at 50% at volume level of my NX7, for example, uh, there's plenty loudness there, plenty, plenty of, of, you know, very, very well, very well sc scaled. Everything, you know, is very, very well matched. Here, that is taken up a little, uh, you know, point or two, even better because the bass is now more prominent and, 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 and completes better everything. Over here, it's not so much that it's not, everything is not evenly matched, it is, but it just plays at, at a, a noticeable lower level. So it needs power for, for it to start shining. Uh, and that's where I think maybe some, you know, maybe, maybe uh, some might kind of not understand or, or pick up on how good the ESTs are actually on here. But the, the reality of this is this, these three are very, very evenly matched, okay? In bass, yes, the 10th and the, the, and the, the MK2 are the two best ones. In terms of the mids, the one that edges out everyone else, 
slightly but thus is the the 10th anniversary in the highs the one that um, the two best ones are these two but i still think that the 10th anniversary edges out this the the, the dte because of the way that the base is able to complement things here technically they are again uh, very much equally matched um you know there's there's it, when it comes to imaging you know it's perfect on all of them these two are the better ones uh, soundstage uh these two are the better ones but slightly mind you slightly not a big difference uh you know uh, in terms of detail retrieval they're all about the same you uh, uh, even though with, with that handicap of you having to maybe put the volume a little bit higher to kind of, you know, uh, maybe not of having to put the volume higher. Um, but, but, you know, detailed retrieval so about the same. De um, timbre and tonality, this one is the best one. Okay, definitely. Uh, so overall, yes, I guess you could say that this just slightly edges out the MK2 and the DT500. And uh, yeah, I guess that, that basically says it all. I mean, um, you know, it, it's not so much here that uh oh this is a a clear winner and this is the one you must go for no it's it's more about in terms of price 499 and considering the accessories that it brings it's the best deal out of all because this is 459 but it doesn't bring the accessories that this brings so considering the price alone this is the best deal here by far by far okay uh in terms of sound this is a more mid-centric focused sound for those that are not that want the bass to be there okay in that that's it the bass is there um this is for those that like a nice uh overall coherent sound uh more with a with a style of a bass tack than necessarily a a a bass glide which is what you get here although they all have again very much that QDC style tuning, but where this one is already going into a more of a kind of a mild V. Okay, so that's more QDC, that's more QDC. This is a QDC pending towards a mild V signature, all right? Um, and this is for, 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 for those of us that just like our bass uh, to be there in good quantity, in good quality, uh, or rather, let me just rephrase that, in very good quality, in very good quantity uh, and, and just you know being musical uh, uh, I know it might this might sound a little bit weird what I'm saying now but you know it, for me to for 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 an IEM to be uh, truly a standout uh, you know or, or truly engaging the bass has to have that musical aspect associated with it. if it doesn't have it's just gonna be you know another IEM uh, yes, fair enough, you do have IEMs which are very neutral in their bass and so on and so forth, which are, you know, still pretty engaging and so on and so forth. But hey, th I like, I like my, 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 you know, my, my, my chocolate with double uh, whipped cream on top of it, if possible. And, you know, the hell with the diet. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's the, the 10th anniversary for me. Anyway, guys, I'll show you another graph and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, you take care now. Hi guys, and uh, this is the graph for the Panon um, 10th anniversary. Uh, and as you can see, as you can see, um, it's got those typical characteristics of uh, ISN and Panon IEMs. Okay, uh, a little bit of an early pin again, very gradual in the way that it you know starts rising and, and increasing peaks at close to four, or at least my unit peaks at close to four, then there's a dip here in that sibilance area, another another peak, which uh, some of it is, peak, uh, you know, coupler related, some of it maybe there's, there's genuine energy there, and then extension past 10k. The base, uh, there seems to be apparently by the, this graph, you would think, oh, there's a ton of bleed and so on and so forth, because I mean, it reaches into 200 hertz, and then it kind of uh, plateaus. But in reality, when you actually listen to it, no. And then it's, you know, you would think, oh, there's a sub, sub bass roll off. No, no th there's loads of sub bass here. It's actually quite amazing how these two little six millimeters uh, perform. Um, compared then to the two IMs that I selected, prim the, pr the primary selections, which were the um, uh, sound drive, the, the DT500 and the, um, uh, and the uh, High Cine Mega 5 VST. I'll show you the Mega 5 VST first. That's the Mega 5. The graphs are normalized at 500 hertz. Uh, sorry, at one kilohertz, uh, and as you can see, yes, uh, you know you.
can be misled into thinking that um, there isn't uh, enough sub base, uh, sorry, enough mid base on the, on the mega. No, there is. There is enough mid base, uh, and the difference that exists between these two is not as significant as the graph might show. The the, the issue with the, with the, with the EST Mark II is that the, the the fact that it needs power to actually shine. Um, uh, you know th that's the truth. The, yes, it's got a, a kind of a of a tucking base curve here, uh, which apparently would mean that oh no, okay, this here is missing in some energy for for some instruments and 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 and, and you know for for some slam in terms of of, of certain uh, uh, you know uh, you know bat, um, uh, drums and so on and so forth. But no, nothing, none, none of the sort. Uh, mids perfect as well. Plenty extension uh, past ten k. Plenty. I mean. Any one of these three, the extension past 10K, although graphically you might see some slight differences, let me just quickly show you now the, the DT500. The truth is when you actually listen to the three of them, they, they all sound very similar. This area, I would say, uh, the differences really that you notice is in the base of the three. You notice that the base of the, the 10th anniversary has got uh, uh, you know, quite a bit of sub-bass rumble and it's got a nice uh, engaging mid-bass uh, thump. The, the the sound drive is the complete opposite, although you would think not by, by, by the purple line that you see here. And then the green line, which is the the, the Mega 5 EST uh, Mark II, uh, is, is, you know, uh, it gives you that sense, that fullness of the bass, really, with, with suffice and, and enough mid-bass to keep up with it, you know. So there's three different ways of doing bass here and showing bass and, and how that bass then will, will, will affect vocals and so on and so forth. Um, mids are very identical and then it's the extension past 10k as well where apparently you would think there is a big difference but n not really anyway that's the graph of the three of them just for the sake of comparison and, and going back to what I was saying about you know the usual Panon and, and ISN sound I just want to quickly show you here the Panon uh, serial um, since that is, is kind of uh, one of my uh, favorite IEMs uh, and it's got you know crazy good bass and then uh, here we go so let me just normalize it here there we go um the base of the serial is 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 phenomenal in my opinion all right let me just change the color here to a color which will be more distinguishable there we go it's phenomenal but the reality is that the the way <coughs> that the matching is done of the um of the um, uh, of the frequencies in the 10th anniversary makes the base of the 10th anniversary as thick as big as the base in the uh, serial i mean really it, it's 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 quite impressive to to it's it, it's quite a feat in my opinion actually for two six millimeter drivers to do this and then yes where you do notice that it uh, just cannot keep up and hang and you know and, and hang on with the 10th anniversary the serial is in the type of frequencies uh, above six seven k, the you know the the, the tenth anniversary is, is far far superior, way more detailed. There's ample details in the serial, mind you, but it, it there's just more of it. Uh, it's it's, a, it's just the serial is good and it's well done for what it is and for what it was tuned. The 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 the, the tenth anniversary has just been tuned in that aspect in the higher frequencies in a slightly different way to what Pinon usually does. Uh, again, I mentioned as well the, the globe, and just for you guys to have a quick idea of the globe here, the same thing happens. Although, when you look at the graph here, you might think, oh, but the globe has got way less, uh, way less um, bass than, than the others. Uh, no, when you actually listen to the globe and you compare it, um, let me just, there we go. When you actually listen to the globe, yeah, and, let me quickly just remove here the serial so you can actually see if you see the globe is basically the same thing in terms of overall base energy as the um, the uh, 10th anniversary very very similar it's just that then the globe doesn't keep up in terms of the mids although very well executed and the uh, highs so uh, yeah fantastic I am I really enjoy the globe mind you but it, it just cannot keep up with the 10th anniversary it's it's uh, it's um, it's a nice sounding IM, great details, it sounds way better than what the graph would, would make you want to believe that it sounds, but it, it just cannot hang its own, especially, especially, not so much in the bass, but especially in the upper mids, 
and Chevrolet cannot keep up with the, with the 10th anniversary. In that aspect, the 10th anniversary is a, uh, absolutely f phenomenal. It's, it's, it's definitely one of the better IEMs in the market currently, uh, especially in terms of a tribrid. It's, it's that, uh, that the DT500 and, and the Mega, Mega 5 EST Mark II of this newer wave of tribrids, uh, they are definitely what uh, we a few years ago had in terms of the EJ07M, in terms of the variations, in terms of the Oracle. So th that 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 uh, that uh, a quality of sound and that those IEMs gave back then that made them stand out to the rest of the tribes. Uh, that's the same thing that now these three also have. Um, and when compared to these old, to the older ones, the older ones are really good. And they keep their own and they still are able to trade blows but these uh, are all capable of edging out slightly uh, the only one that's still the most competitive in my opinion out of those older ones um, because of its price is the variations the variations can still to a certain expect a certain extent be competitive with this younger younger crowd of tribrids um, and and you know talking again about this issue of the price uh, it's uh, and i want to kind of the dead horse but it's just a pity that the mega 5 vst mark ii could not be slight i know i got that crazy coupon for you guys that perhaps want to give it a go to to use which will lower the price significantly to about 550 dollars roughly but um you know we, we, uh, ideally i feel that we should be below that 500 dollar mark that would be the ideal and if that if it was below that 500 dollar mark i think that the, the est uh, the the Mega Five EST uh, Mark II, um, the Mega Five EST Mark II exactly, could uh, could definitely be a, a way more competitive uh, player. Uh, and that's it, guys. As always, like and subscribe. Any questions you might have, please feel free to ask, uh, and I'll do my best to to answer. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.